Hello everyone. This is going to be a screencast on how to use Connect within your biology course. So first thing you want to do is log into Blackboard and you're going to click into your biology course. And then um, your screen is going to look a little bit different uh, based on who you're taking your biology course with. In my class, I like to organize everything by chapter. So you're going to go into whatever tab your professor has set up for you to uh, do your Learn Smart assignments. So I'm going to click under Chapter 1. And here where we see the LS, I know that's a Learn Smart assignment. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to send me directly over to the Connect website. Now you're going to see something different because you're a student. I'm going to hit Preview so I have the same view as you. And it'll basically load a type of ebook for you to do all of your reading in. And I'm going to go, I'm going to click read just so I see a similar time. screen to what you do. Okay. So here is the pages that I'm going to be focusing on. Now you can see that some of these things are highlighted. Whatever's highlighted is um, very important because these are the topics that are going to be on either the practice questions that you're going to be given within your Learn Smart assignment or within your paper examination that you're going to take in class. So I go through and I do some reading and I also have these four squares here. When you click that button, it gives you kind of um, like thumbnails on the side that you can click through. So if you need to jump back to this page to check it out again or you can go forward. Um, that'll pull the page back up for you. So let's say I want to get rid of it. I'm going to click it again. And I really don't want this highlighting here. So what I'm going to do is click this highlight button with the cross through it, and it'll turn everything off for me. You can also change the text size on your page. So I can make it bigger and just scroll down, or I can make it smaller. Let's say I want to make it smaller because I see this icon here. That means I have some extra content there to help me with this material. So when you click on it, you might have a scroll, you might not. There might be some slides that can help me learn more about this. So let's see, characteristics of fungi include multicellular eukaryotes and obtain nutrients by decomposing organic material. Great. Let's continue and it'll take you back to the slide and it puts a check mark on that button because we looked at it. The other feature I want to tell you about is, um, is the fact that you get to have practice questions whenever you want. So you can already see that this is kind of flashing as I'm reading and it's telling me that you've read enough, you're ready to do some practice questions. But you can always do a little bit of reading and then hit practice and um, answer some of the questions. So all prokaryotic organisms on earth are classified into which two domains? Let's say, let's say these two, okay? Or let's do this one right, okay. So we're going to click bacteria and archaea, and I'm going to say I know it. These four buttons on the bottom are known as your metacognitive thinking. So you want to be truthful in how you uh, choose which button to click so that you get a better sense of how you're going to perform on your exam. And I'll show you how these are put to use in reports when we're done with um, our Learn Smart assignment. So I'm going to click I know it. I got it right. Let's say I got it wrong though. I can click this button that says read about it and it'll take me directly into the book where I find this information. So it happens to take me to this figure here and I can see that these two uh, domains are prokaryotic. It says that in the text here. And the other thing is there's a video here. So you can click on that. It'll pull up a video for you to watch. We won't watch the video. But you click continue and it goes on back. When you hit OK, it's going to bring up your next question. The other thing you need to look at is this down in here. It's going to show you how many questions or how many items you have left. Less left. <laughs> and um, so when you start out reading through your Learn Smart or Smart Book, you are going to answer these questions and the program is 
adapting your uh, adapting to your learning. So as you're answering your questions, and let's say you're getting them all right and clicking I know it, it's going to understand that you don't need to be um, going through these questions over and over again. It'll take some of the questions out and pull in the questions that you maybe aren't so knowledgeable about. So this number of items left may change as I'm going through answering questions. Then you're going to click back to read and continue reading. So and you can use this button to click through to get uh, to your other pages. The other thing is this button here. If you want a coach to help you, Reading with smart to book coach helps you, you along emphasis on the critical paragraphs for your assignment, you can click that. You can click on outline chapter. That might be helpful for you. Uh, and then let me go back. Oh, restarted the whole thing, of course. And the other thing is you can click on here and go to spread and it just gives you a little bit different view of your textbook. So it's more of a open book type of setup where you can scroll back and forth. If you don't like this spread view, just hit the X and it'll take you back to your screen from before. The other thing I want to tell you about is um, this tab right here. If you click on table of contents, this will show you all of your assignments and whether you have them done it'll also show you the due date so obviously I didn't go through the whole assignment I'm only at 12 percent if I had finished this assignment and I wanted to go through material again in order to study for my exam you can click this self-study tab and click on the chapter that you want to study in let's just do three since we don't have a learn smart assignment there and you can do some learn smart assignments um, here but it's not going to count toward a grade because like I said it's self-study so I have 115 items and like I said that might be reduced based on if I know this material pretty well the other thing is using this button here is clicking reports Then you can go into, oh, I'm going to pause while we, while this loads, it might take a little bit. Okay, so once you've um, gotten your reports to all load, you can click onto missed questions, click on this plus sign, and it'll show you all the questions that you've gotten wrong. So we just have one listed here, and it'll bring up the question again. Let's just randomly click something. I'm going to say unsure. And it's going to say my one of my answers was wrong. So then I hit OK, and I know the material that I need to cover. The other report that's really helpful is self-assessment. And this is where those four buttons on the bottom um, gets reported to you. So what we see in green here, this number is going to be true to or close to what you should get on your exam in class. That's why you need to be truthful and honest in using those metacognitive four buttons in the bottom. The I know it, I think I know it, the unsure, and the I don't know. So the, the higher this number is to, or the closer it is to 100, the more likely you are to ace your exam. So you can also read these descriptions to see um, what you should do or what it truly means. You can also hit this library button and it'll give you a list of all of the um, chapters. So we're going to go into chapter one and it'll give a list of all the topics that you're covering. Um, let's just say, let's go into homeostasis and it'll give me all of the slides and some review material there. Okay, so those are, um, I think, some of the things that are the most helpful in Learn Smart to make sure to utilize. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My name is Natalie Bernsusian, and nbernsusian at robertmorris.edu is my email in case you want to shoot me an email um, with some questions. And that is it. Enjoy your learning.